This is a suspension update for these Cordoba cars that I've made. I didn't realise until now, I've only just learnt this, that the Shop Rider Cordoba rear suspension units that are designed to carry someone that's 35 stone. And the, I didn't realise that these are actually, these are Cadiz shock absorbers. And I didn't realise that the distance and the holes and everything's identical. So because it's a really bumpy ride with these shock rider Cordova springs on, these ones off of a shock rider Cadiz, they're slightly thinner springs. So I've changed five of my cars, I'm doing them all. I've changed five of them and what it means is instead of it being such a bumpy ride, it, it's much smoother ride and it's a good idea. So obviously these these are going roughly on eBay around 20 quid a pair. So I've got I'm changing all my cars. I've done and with Jeeps. I've done five of them so far. And it's a much better idea because I'm getting a smoother ride when I go along the road. So I've let the tires down to about 30 instead of running them at 40. I've let them down to roughly 30 pound a square inch. Then I've changed the shop absorbers and it's a much smoother ride. So I'm going to crack on and then um, I'll change I'll change them all and then it'll be a, a good move. Yeah, I've done nippy and I've also I've done the one that says hello and I've done the little I've done the little green one and I've also done the Jeep back end so I need to get some more springs and finish the lot. It's not worth changing over the front shocks really because the tension on them are about the same tension on the Cordoba as the Cadiz. So there's no point in doing the fronts. I've just changed the rear shock absorbers on this car. Uh, and that's six of them done. Now I've just got to buy some more shocks and then finish the rest off.